the Hav Blue aircraft, named after its distinctive diamond shape that defies radar detection, had its initial prototype developed by Lockheed Martin in the 1970s. The prototype was dubbed the Hopeless Diamond, a pun on the well-known Hope Diamond. The F-117 Nighthawk, the first stealth fighter, was created from the prototype, in spite of early concerns about its flying characteristics. Two Hav Blues were constructed, but none of them made it. The creation of the project was a critical turning point in the development of stealth aircraft. Project Harvey To develop stealth aircraft technology, DARPA started Project Harvey in response to fears that U.S. jets may be endangered by Soviet radar-guided missiles and anti-aircraft artillery. Within two weeks of a conflict, the U.S. military and intelligence community worried that NATO's aircraft stockpile may run out. After DARPA subtly petitioned five aircraft manufacturers, the talks came to an end. Electronic countermeasures were employed by General Dynamics. Even though Douglas and Northrop regretted spending $100,000 on research, they continued with the project. When engineers Ed Martin and Ben Rich learned about the project, DARPA let Lockheed Skunk Works, which had not been active in fighter aircraft development for 10 years, to join. Lockheed Skunk Works was exempt from needing a federal contract in order to take part. Experimental Stealth Prototype DARPA recruited Lockheed, Northrop, and Douglas to collaborate on the development of an experimental survivable testbed in 1975. Douglas left the airplane after learning the threshold for undetected aircraft. Lockheed and Northrop competed in Phase 1 of the XST, demonstrating that their full-scale models could only fly one and evaluating the radar cross-section of those aircraft. The first phase required four months to develop and test at a radar target dispersed test site near White Stands, New Mexico, with a budget of $1.5 million. Lockheed constructed a $187,000 bid to acquire the aircraft in April 1976 because the Northrop XST had the lowest hemisphere radar cross-section. In spite of Lockheed's success, the Northrop Group carried on with other projects. Lockheed Skunk Works Have Blue Phase 2 of the Lockheed Skunk Works Blue Demonstrators project, funded by $10.4 million, focused on minimizing airplane noise generation and detection using radio wave infrared technology and vision, the HB1001 and HB1002 models were completed by October 1977 using surplus C5 program gear. The first model was completed in six weeks despite a strike, allowing for ground tests. The second prototype phase demonstrated radar cross-section, but half-blue prototypes lacked mission equipment, were tiny and uncomplicated, and could not refuel in mid-air. Radar-absorbing substance coatings were present in the second model, but not in the first. Maiden Flight By using Hav Blue to oppose the Soviet Union's integrated defense systems, the United States sought to retain its advantage in Cold War domains. The little vehicle's capacity to lift off and maintain flight was still a problem even after successful anti-radar testing. Three distinct hues and grades of iron paint were applied to the airplane to hide its facing and edges. The aircraft's ordinary and remarkable capabilities were tested at the Nevada test site. To test the stealth capabilities developed during Hav Blue, a second jet took off after it, posing as a hostile pursuer. $35 million went toward the project. Pilots Bill Park and Ken Dyson of the United States conducted tests on the Hopeless Diamond, a low-cost aircraft intended for NATO defense in the future. On December 1, 1977, Park made the maiden flight of the prototype, and Dyson followed in an F-15 Eagle. Up until the Hopeless Diamond's 36 test, when engineers made minor additions and changes, the testing were conducted in secrecy. In order to test the half-blue prototype and show off its potential for future aircraft development, only Park and Dyson flew it. Final Flights 
Bill Park's Diamond test flight on May 4, 1978, was marred by issues after arrival. The engine burned out, causing the aircraft to crash. Park attempted to extend the landing gear, but the nose wheel and main came down. He ran out of gas and was told to ascend 10,000 feet to be ejected. Park aborted the aircraft, blowing it to smithereens, and his test flight career was terminated due to a concussion he sustained during the ejection. On July 20, 1979, the second prototype of the HB-1002, an improved version of the first hopeless diamond, made its first flight. The aircraft's unpredictability was increased by its drab paint job, lack of a flight test instrument boom, and radar absorbent coating. Only one pilot, Ken Dyson, tested the aircraft, but was ejected during a 50-second flight due to a hydraulic leak causing engine fire. DARPA saw the half-blue experiment as a success, prompting more planes. The Legacy F-1-17 Nighthawk The U.S. Air Force only uses Lockheed's F-117 Nighthawk, a twin-engine stealth attack aircraft, as a result of the half-blue project. The half-blue proof-of-concept aircraft, which was the first operational stealth aircraft, provided the basis for the Nighthawk's basic technology. At Groom Lake in Nevada in 1981, the first flight took place. Despite being decommissioned in 2008, the F-117 was crucial to the success of the Iraq War, the Gulf War, and NATO's bombardment of Yugoslavia. The aircraft were maintained in operational order even after retirement. One was even observed taking off in 2019. So, that was the story of Project Half Blue, the secret stealth fighter program that led to the development of the F-117 Nighthawk. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos on aviation history and technology. You can also check out some of my other videos on the screen right now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.